Hello, amazing human beings. I am so excited to be here with you. We are spending the week, um, this week is no name calling week. So we're spending this week really focusing on kindness, focusing on knowing that it's important not only to be kind, for the bell to go, not only to be kind to yourself, but to be kind to others as well, right? We want to make sure that we treat people, we include people, right? We respect how they identify as. Um, we love people because we love their hearts, right? And we make sure that we love people through kindness. So today's book really is about that, not only being kind to others, but really being kind to yourself. I saw this book um, laying on the, the table at Mrs. Marks in the library. So I was like, let me pick this up and look at it. And when I started reading it, I thought it was a really sweet book. So I said, we have to share this book this morning. So let's get straight, uh, let's get started. It's a Sankofa reading and I love the Sankofa um, read alouds for you too. Hello and welcome back to another edition of Sankofa read aloud. Today's story is titled, Listening with My Heart, written by Gabby Garcia, illustrated by Ying Hu Tan a story of kindness and self-compassion. I hope that you enjoy this amazing story. Esperanza's tummy fluttered as she practiced her lines on the porch. Today was the class play. Waiting for mama to walk with her to school, she paced back and forth when she spotted a heart-shaped rock. Esperanza picked it up and showed it to mama as soon as she stepped outside. I see you found a little treasure, said Mama. Esperanza rubbed its rough surface and felt a twinkle of joy. Maybe it's a sign. For what, asked Mama. She thought about the class play later that afternoon, wondering what it would finally be like in the spotlight to put my heart into everything I do, she answered. At that moment, they heard scratching and a soft cry. Esperanza peeked under the stairs and spotted a kitty shaking and shivering, no mama in sight. She scooped the kitten onto her lap and cuddled her. She's all alone. I think she's hungry. Esperanza reached for her lunch bag, pinched off a piece of chicken and offered it to the kitty who gobbled it up. Mama, I think the rock is a reminder to spread kindness and love. That's what we do when we listen with our hearts. I think you're onto something, said Mama. Can we keep Cleopatra, please? Asked Esperanza, who'd already named the kitty. Queens are always welcomed at our house, said Mama. If she's still here after school, we'll take her in. At school, Esperanza was more focused on the play than on math or reading. Clutching her script during recess, she noticed Bowel sitting alone on a bench. He was new in school this week and didn't speak much English. She wondered if he felt lonely or scared. Esperanza found a soccer ball and kicked it over to him. A smile spread across Bowel's face. He stood, popped the ball in the air, then bounced it between his knee and his head a few times. Dudes got moves, thought Esperanza. They spent recess giggling and making up hand signals. Afterwards, Esperanza borrowed Miss Owens' English Vietnamese dictionary. She wrote friend in Vietnamese, drew a picture of Bao and her, then put it on his desk. Esperanza rubbed the rock in her pocket, listening with her heart, made her feel peaceful inside. Finally, it was time for the performance. It was too late for Bowel to be in the play, but he stood at Miss Owen's side as a stagehand. Excitement bubbled as Esperanza awaited her cue. Esperanza walked on stage, tripped, as she was about to say her first line and splattered across the stage. When she got up, she forgot her line so Miss Owens whispered them to her from backstage. Heat rushed 
through Esperanza's body. As all eyes were glued to her, she wished she could disappear. I ruined the play, thought Esperanza, rushing off stage as soon as she, as soon as she finished her part. I messed up in front of everyone. She tucked herself in behind some props so no one would see her. Esperanza noticed her body shaking and her face still burning. She took a deep breath and dug the rock out of her pocket. It was cracked and lopsided, just how she felt. Esperanza touched her hand to her heart and felt the disappointment. Bowel found Esperanza a few minutes later and handed her a drawing with the word friend written above it. Esperanza nodded. She hadn't been treating herself like a friend. Esperanza realized this wasn't the first time she'd been unkind to herself. At the soccer game last weekend, she missed the ball that was swooshed by her head and they lost the game. Nice work, a player from the other team yelled. As the others laughed, Esperanza thought she'd let her team down and was the worst soccer player in the world. Thinking those thoughts had made her feel worse. At the curtain call, Esperanza reminded herself she hadn't ruined the play. She'd had an accident and accidents happen to everyone. Listening with her heart wasn't just about giving kindness and love to others. It was about giving it to herself too. I can be a friend to myself, thought Esperanza. When Esperanza got home, she focused on her favorite things. She zipped down the hall on her bike, then spent the afternoon painting at the kitchen table. She also got the hug she needed from mama mm -hmm. and some cuddles from Cleo Catra. <laughs> That's a cute little story about kindness, right? And it's funny because it's true. Sometimes it's so difficult. It's easier to be kind to others than it is to ourselves sometimes, right? I thought of her with that soccer that happened to Ethan. They made him, he's practicing soccer and they decided to make him a goalie. He's not super familiar with the soccer game. And he, you know, even though we said you can touch it with your hands, we've been training him so much not to touch it with his hands, right? When you're playing soccer regularly, that when the ball came by, it was a slow rolling ball. He never picked it up and someone kicked it in. And he completely, like, he just, his eyes opened up wide. Some of the players weren't being kind. They were like, how could you not pick it up? That was such an easy ball to pick up. And he just started crying. I remember this game, but I also remember him kind of running off the field. Um, some of the parents spoke to their children about, you know, using nicer, kinder words with him. They came up to him to apologize. But I remember him wanting to leave. And I said, absolutely not. This is your team. We're learning how to play the game. We are not leaving this game. And even if you choose not to go back into play, we are going to stay here and support them. But we're not leaving. So I remember the coach came over and he spoke to him for a few seconds and finally, Ethan went back in the game and realized, you know what, what I did was I made a mistake. But as long as we learn and grow from those mistakes, right? Now, you know, okay, you can touch the ball of your goalie, or I'm going to try my best, right? And that's all you can do. But make sure that you practice kindness today with not only others, but make sure you practice it with yourself as well. Have an amazing day.